Happy October, everyone. Today begins the month-long horror celebration right here on Comagain TV. If you're new to the channel, make sure and bury the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Today, to kick things off, we'll be taking a look at one of the stories from Halloween 30 Years of Terror, so stay tuned. <laughs> As you can see here, we have the Halloween 30 Years of Terror comic from Devil Do Publishing. A very nice image of Dr. Sam Loomis holding Michael's mask on the cover. You have some very lightly shaded trees in the background with leaves falling all around Dr. Loomis. On the inside cover, we get a nice little opener. Malek Akkad presents a Devil Do Publishing Compass International Pictures production. Halloween, 30 years of terror. On Halloween night, 1963, six-year-old Michael Myers murdered his sister and was incarcerated in Smith's Grove Asylum. On October 31st, 1978, Michael escaped and returned to his hometown of Haddonfield, Illinois, where he committed the most brutal mass slaughter on record and then vanished into the autumn night. Laurie Strode, Tommy Doyle, and Dr. Sam Lewis were three people whose lives were irrevocably changed by the events that happened that night. This is the story of what happened next. All stories written by Stephen Hutchinson. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the story Trick or Treat, which was drawn by Danigel Zizelj and colored by Nick Bell. October 31st, 1978. We open just after Lori tells the kids, I want you to go down the stairs and out the front door. I want you to go down the street to the McKenzie's house, and I want you to tell them to call the police. In the next panel, we see Mr. and Mrs. McKenzie in their living room. Mr. McKenzie sitting in his rocking chair watching television, while Mrs. McKenzie standing off to the side in the dining room. Mary and Joe McKenzie are their names, and Joe doesn't seem pleased with what they show on TV nowadays even if it is Halloween. Suddenly, someone begins banging on their front door. The McKenzie's loved children very much, but trick-or-treating was just too much for Joe. They would turn their lights off and not answer the door for a single soul. Until tonight. It was too late, and they were knocking too loud. Mary hesitantly opens the door. It's the boogeyman. He tried to kill us. Lori says you gotta call the police. The boogeyman is gonna kill her. He's in the house. First, the couple don't quite understand what's going on. But then, gunshots fired just across the street. It's at that moment Mary calls the police while Joe tries to calm the children. While she's on the phone, the image of Michael Myers, the shape, appears in the window just behind Mary. And just as quickly, disappears. Years later, after Joe had passed, it's revealed that after that night, they started to keep their lights on and give out candy to the children on Halloween. But something was different about this year. Mary was home alone and still gave out candy, but there was something in the air. Black cats and goblins and broomsticks and ghosts, covens of witches devour their hosts. You may think they're scary, and you're probably right. Black cats and goblins on Halloween night. Trick or treat. Mary gives the children their candy, and they eat it right away. But this isn't any ordinary Halloween. Tonight, the children, as they chew up their candy, are cut and sliced by razor blades hidden in the caramels they put in their mouths. Mary turns in surprise to find Michael sitting in Joe's chair. This is one of only two stories I enjoyed in this comic. I really liked how Hutchinson showed what happened to Michael after he fell out the window and what became of the kids on that fateful Halloween night. I mean, we obviously knew something had happened to Tommy. He grew up and reprised his role in Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. But still, it was a nice, nice little issue connecting to the original comic. If you have a chance, go ahead and pick this issue up. I will warn you, it is a bit pricey for what you get. Damn gougers. I found mine on eBay for about $30. Most of the stories are just filler. Sell comics with the Halloween title on it, using the characters from the franchise. But still, if nothing else, it's a good piece of merchandise to add to your Halloween or horror collection. 
I'm Shannon for Comic Gen TV. Have a happy October. Trick or treat.